Abigail Locke. Yeah. Um, yourself and a few colleagues uh, yeah. set up uh, what you call Women in the Hood. <laughs> yes. uh, a great title. Uh, and you're now uh, working towards uh, Athena Swan uh, Charter. Mm -hmm. um, are there similar initiatives underway in other universities? There are. Um, a lot of the universities have already signed up to it um, and are working towards different levels. Mm -hmm. So um, the first level that we've just submitted is the Institutional Bronze Award, where uh, we basically have reviewed gender across the whole institution. Um, and from there you then move to de departmental levels uh, for bronze and silver. And then you can go back and um, apply for our Institutional Silver Award and keep going. So it kind of works as bronze, silver and gold. Um, there are some universities that are real champions of this um, and others which are kind of quite slow off the mark. Women in the Hood, what, what mm -hmm. is that designed to do? The Women in the Hood um, was actually the launch event was February of this year. It came up when um, myself and Dion Coburn were very much putting the Athena Swan um, application together. Um, we felt that a women's network at the university would be incredibly beneficial for everyone. Um, and initially, um, we considered whether this would be a kind of academic network or whether it would be for all staff. And we decided that actually it should be for women at the university. How would you like to see us progress in, let's say, five years' time? In five years' time, in terms of um, gender equality in the Athena Swan Charter, um, measurable targets, I would like that all of the STEM departments have got themselves a bronze or silver award and then we've gone for institutional silver. Um, however, I've also been reading this morning um, that the Equality Challenge Unit that runs the Venus One is actually now thinking about extending the scheme um, to gender equality more generally for all subjects, not just STEM subjects, um, but also looking at racial equality um, in institutions. So in five years time, all these schemes will be online and we will um, I think be very heavily involved in making sure that our institution is, is hitting all the targets we need to hit. And uh, it, it, for, for members of staff who uh, perhaps haven't sort of come across this, they just need to get in touch with yourself or Dion. Yes. Um, yeah. and, uh, and get involved, basically. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the purpose really behind Athena Swan is that we, we know that there are um, barriers to women achieving the same as men in higher education. I've just pulled up some articles this morning, if you don't mind. Um, an article from The Guardian last month said the star academics are soft and white and male, that when, you know, with the ref coming up, when universities are approaching, staff to approach for, you know, the high impact, they tend to be men. And it's like, well, wh why is that? You know, and um, another article came up, black female and postgraduate, why can't be the only one? And in the back of this article is a very sobering figure. According to the University and College Union, we, we may have to wait 38.8 .8 years for women and 15.8 .8 years for BME staff to be proportionally represented amongst the professoriate. So obviously, in terms of university higher education, we do have a problem. I believe that the mm. uh, senior management, uh, in, indeed the vice-chancellor mm. here at the mm. university, is wholly behind this. Completely behind it, yeah. Uh, and is pushing it forward. Uh. Absolutely, yeah. Um, but again, we see in, in higher education in the UK, we do see that, that, um, that BME are completely underrepresented at all levels and women are underrepresented at the higher levels. Um, so th these, kind of qu these kind of charters are really important for basically trying to see if there are kind of systemic reasons for this happening. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.